Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Eric Lufer with the latest from Denver 7. Friends and family are terrified something terrible has happened to a missing woman. Erin Vandewilly moved to Colorado from Wisconsin with a man she was dating. He's now in jail on unrelated charges, and she's nowhere to be found. Vanda Willey also sent text messages saying she feared for her life and that someone was going to kill her if she didn't get away. A driver was killed overnight after crashing on I-225. The crash closed northbound lanes between Alameda and East 6th Avenue for several hours. The driver's name has not been released. Heartbreak for the Rockies. Last night's loss to the Dodgers puts them a game and a half back from the lead in the NL West. They'll look to avoid a sweep tonight before heading to Arizona to take on the third place Diamondbacks on Friday. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is Lisa with your First Alert forecast. And it's a First Alert action day, and here's why we're tracking a cold front, Eric. It's going to bring with it some cooler air finally. Yesterday was day nine in our streak of 90 degree heat. Today will be close to 90, just not quite there. Some upper 80s for highs this afternoon. Increasing clouds, a chance for some scattered storms and showers, first in the mountains and then across the plains. That's going to last through tonight into early tomorrow morning. We could still see some wet roads early Thursday with a little lingering shower activity in the morning. Uh, we'll start off in the, it looks like the upper 50s to upper 60s early Thursday morning, and then by tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s. Skies will clear out, so sunshine by the afternoon, and then beautiful to end the week. We're at 75 on Friday, mostly sunny skies, a little warmer for the weekend, and fall officially starts Saturday night. Lisa, thanks. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back here later with another update. And you can always download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Eric Lufer.